I'm very excited about the directions in which computational biology is developing. Everybody in the field realizes the enormous potential in this incredible amount of big data that is being generated now. SIB has been organizing BC2 since 2003. I came to attend this bioinformatics conference uh, to update myself about the latest trends in this field. We're all still thinking about how to make the best of this data, how to harness its power. How do you get from complex multimodal patient data to biomarkers that help predict if a patient have a, has a high risk of getting a certain disease or not? It's important to have conferences which are uh, multidisciplinary. We're not trying to just show our research in methods. We're also trying to understand what is the most important problem the other people are trying to solve. The BC2 conference uh, is highly timely. It's really the future of medicine, digital health, uh, medicine that is going to be much more data-driven, predictive, personalized, and proactive. I just felt like sitting in here, you just get like a first uh, row seat to really see a glimpse into the future. It's a really great place to meet people working in the field, and I think there's also a big need in uh, academia and the industry for this kind of, uh, of work. We're very happy to provide through SIB BC2 as a platform to foster excellence in data science. The winner of Early Career Bioinformatician Award, Eleonora Forkin. Today I received the SIB Early Career Award for my work on the randomization approach integrating expression data with GWAS data. For me, it's a huge honor receiving this, uh, this award. Best Graduate Paper Award, uh, Jochen Zinner. I received the SIB Best Graduate Paper Award for our work on the identification of mutations in single cell data sets, which hopefully will help us to lead to new treatments for cancer in the near future. BC2 is the best meeting in Europe to get an overview of what's going on in computational biology.